Hi, I'm Kimberly Kravitz here in Freehold, New Jersey, just a few doors down from where Bruce Springsteen grew up. How fitting to be right in the neighborhood as he releases his newest memoir, Born to Run. This book shares stories of the last 40 years, telling tales of both joy and suffering through Springsteen's music that began right here at the Jersey Shore. The marathon book tour took place way before the sun came up with hundreds of diehard Springsteen fans, both young and old, filling the lines beginning at four in the morning so they could have their moment standing side by side with their very own Bruce Springsteen. We're ecstatic! We're ecstatic! The boss wasn't scheduled to arrive till noon, but he blew his fans away when he unexpectedly made an entrance an hour and a half early to his book tour. First time was in 73, 74. I have some pictures. I was fortunate enough to show uh, Big Man these and Don Rio, and uh, he couldn't believe he was that skinny back then. And I plan to, you know, just show Bruce. I've been to, you know, a fan uh, like 40 years now. Lines and lines of dedicated fans here since before it was light out. Just take a look. There are so many people. The crowds are filling. People are excited to see Bruce. Fans were dressed in their vintage spring scene attire, concert tees, leather jackets, American flag bandanas for their long-awaited meet and greet with the boss. The Freehold Barnes & Noble bookstore was tightly packed with fans from near and far, with fan favorite songs such as Born in the USA and Glory Days playing in the background. Bruce is so inspiring, such an inspiration to so many people and it means a lot to be here. I've seen him 75 something, I don't know, something like that right. times and he's a hero. This is my daughter, she's a, she's a fan, I've been a fan since he started and um, we do everything together for Bruce. Mm -hmm. We told him originally that it was all sold out and there was no way we could get tickets. And then two days ago, we, he was lying on the couch and we basically said, you may need this for Tuesday. And he opened it up and he read it and then he just was in total shock. <laughs> <laughs> and the preparation to make this production run smoothly, all thanks to Barnes & Noble. I mean, we've been preparing for months. We found out about the book during the summer, and since that moment, there's been a whole team of people working on this basically nonstop. Bruce chose the Freehold store, which is interesting, right? We could have done it at any, any store in the area, we could have done it in New York, and he wanted this store being his hometown store. The autobiography, Born to Run, is released and available at your local Barnes & Noble. I got my copy right here. For another thing, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Up next, Larry's Commentary.